He's going by! 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 He's don't think it and don't say it. You have to go. He's gonna get in your head and make you do terrible things. Don't think it and don't say it. Don't think it and don't say it. You have to go before he comes back again. Don't think it and don't say it. Don't think it. Don't say it. Not really. Not yeah. normal, but it happens. Uh, Anastasia Washington for Legion of Leia. Legion of Leia. Legion of Leia. We're good, thank you. Awesome. Well, uh, wow. I just experienced the Bye Bye Man. Um, what is it about giving, you know, evil a name that you think is so important or so evil and that's the basis of this movie? Like, what, what do you think about giving evil a name? Well, well, I, that's interesting. Nobody's actually asked that question. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying that's to think. That's so it. scary about giving it a name yeah. or power. It does give it, yeah, I think that when you do name something and you give it the attention that it shouldn't deserve, that it, there, there is a metaphor to be said for that, you know, when you, there's certain negative things in your mind that if you give it the attention, it'll fester and it'll grow. There's a metaphor, you know, connection there. I hadn't really, we hadn't really talked about mm. that. That's an interesting thing to, to, to bring into it. I, I was, there's another sort of thing I was sort of thinking about more, uh, but... What's that? What's that thing that you were thinking about more? Well, just I didn't focus so much on the name. I focused more on the the fact that um, certain events unfold when you make a really simple, innocent decision that then you know has a whole chain reaction, and uh, that's a really big theme in the, in the film that like I think is pretty one. universal. Yeah, one one thing that's oh my god, like if only I had just done this one thing differently, and you just that 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 happens in life, but. The characters really have a lot of time to stew in this, you know, what if scenario, and then the more they realize how uh, horrible their situation is, the more they wish they could have just gone back. And Do you think that's a more dangerous like concept? Is that's the a what very if, dangerous concept. The what if, oh, yeah, worst place to live in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, in that worry yeah. about yeah. what if. Yeah, and and what Tony Robbins says that the. I was I listen to Tony Robbins. I love so. Tony Robbins. He said like the the most depressed people live in the past, the most happy people live in the present, the most successful people go from the present to the future, back present to the future, present mm -hmm. to the future because they they plan ahead and then they are so happy. But yeah, anyways, that yeah, the past. Well, and that's what makes good horror is that we like it it starts having these conversations in your head like why is this so scary? The what if why is it so scary? And yeah. I mean, is that what draws you guys to horror projects in general? Like the conversations it opens. Well, I'm. I mean, for me, I, I don't really seek out a genre in particular. I, I sort of, you Look know... Look at individual stories and yeah, scripts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so, you know, this was an individual story. It was a script set, and I read it. I really thought it was effective and scary. And then, you know, I spent a, a really long time in the room with Stacy, the director, working on the scenes. And then, you know, and then went off to the races with you. You, you got the script, you read it, and, mm -hmm. you know... Yeah, what drew to you to this? Well, project? the story was really was really well done. Um, I joke, but it's not a joke that I had to read it in breaks because it was too scary for me. Um, and then I talked to Stacy, um, who is a friend of a friend, so there was a little. It, it made it a little bit more personal for me. Um, and then, you know, her sharing her vision with me on the phone, and also, um, I really did feel the weight that very rarely does a woman get an opportunity to direct something like this. And not that I am like, you know, I'm a, I'm a feminist in terms of like humanity, but that, that did definitely impact me. Yeah, that's the that's the thing that we had to go that's through. That's terrifying. Yeah, yeah. 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 Is was, that an actor that's saying that? Uh, no, no, that's probably the person. Oh wow, probably yeah. Their staff. It's yeah, terrifying. Yeah. I, so you get I'm not, scared easily, or? You know, I just kind of encompass my life with positivity and light. <laughs> just, just like this project, you know. Right? <laughs> but I'm not yeah. afraid. But at the same time, I'm not afraid of facing the dark. I'm not afraid of being in. In, in scary stuff and you know exploring dark characters I mean I'm not afraid of that but in my personal everyday life I'm surrounding myself with light 
and so you know when I what I choose to read what I choose to ingest I think about pretty consciously um, that's not to say I don't want to be entertained sometimes and right. laugh at like completely inappropriate humor or be totally scared by a movie like this um, there's a time and a place for that too but I also have kids and so it's like <laughs> you just get kind of extra sensitive yeah I like your shirt oh thank yeah. you so much yeah. thank you thank you so much for Haunted, talking about yeah, yeah. Um, so I just experienced the Bye Bye Man, um, and I apologize. <laughs> it was it was scary and um, terrifying, and um, and one thing that was a huge theme was uh, giving him a name and giving him power. Mm. Where did you come up with that like like concept of giving? energy and power to evil and all that. Was that the main thing that you were thinking? Well, everyone can you know, talk about it, you know, that it came from a, a, a short story. Is that what you mean? You yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, anything, it's interesting thematically, anything you can name becomes, you know, it's in Harry Potter, they like, he must not be named. It's, it's a, that's right. you know, it's a little bit the same principle. At once you give it a name, it, it in our case, he comes to you, it, it's a beacon that draws him to you. And he becomes corporeal, you know, and just in time to exploit your worst fears and terrify the hell out of you. Oh, is That's that all? A, yeah. Oh. Just, he, yeah, he, he, knows what, <laughs> he knows what is scary for you. And then he uses that imagistically to scare you and to ruin your life because he makes you see things that aren't there. He doesn't need a weapon. He uses your own mind as, against you. Wow. That's, uh, that's utterly terrifying. Um, <laughs> Is there a reason that you are drawn to genre films like this? Um, I do you have to, as a woman, I always have to be like, this is the reason I like these things, and you have to like, you know, try to uh, explain away why you have it. Do you find yourself explaining away why you like it? I always want to explain it, and 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 I want to explain it well. And I think the thing that I I want to say is that I love being scared, and I love scaring people, but I don't think the world would be a great place without these kind of stories. I think it would be boring. We need to have the edges defined. We need to know what's in the darkness. That's what I that's why I like well, it. Well we need to know what's in the darkness, but when but there's that tension between you want to know what's in the darkness but you can't know what's in the darkness. And that's I think what drives us to explore stories like this. <laughs> and to share the experience in a theater. Um, and it's funny you say, like, as a woman, you're asked to explain that because so much of our audience for this movie and for others is going to be women. Yeah, no, it's definitely a, a female. Females are definitely aching for the genre. We mm. love the genre. But I find myself personally having to explain why I like these type of movies. And I'm sure making content like that, you have to explain that well, too. Well, people always say that you're such a happy person. Yeah. I, and my roommate from college said, oh, if I had known that this was in you, I wouldn't have slept in the room with you. <laughs> And I was like, really? Well, That's I great. hope, Susan, that you're wrong, that I wouldn't be killing you in the middle of the night. But the fact is, is you're right. I think that, I think that women are supposed to be sweet and, and have a sensibility that's softer. And I think that's why we're explaining it. But we have, we're, we're hard asses. We care about that. We, we want to go in, on that journey, too. I mean, it's, it's the most fun. Right. And I think it's like our version of those tales of where you can go and where you can't go. You know, like uh, the myths that kept us in line and mm. kept us are our, our, our modern horror movies. And I mean, do you find yourself explaining like boundaries in them to, I mean, to pass on to Well, there's people? rules in the, you know, yeah. there's rules in the, for the Bible Moment. You shouldn't say yeah. his name. You shouldn't say it to anyone you love because they'll get infected too. But more than that, you know, in terms of being mythic, he is everywhere. He's in the shadows. So if we can define that, if we can say you can prevent him from coming to you if you don't say his name and you don't think of him, you think you'll have power over him, but in fact, you can't stop thinking about him. That's the circle of it. That's the, that's the implanting the, of an idea. That and then it doesn't go away. So that's why he's scary. Wow, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, what about the look of him? Like, I heard you had a lot of failed. I want to hear the failing. Like, what did you try? <laughs> Do you want it? Okay. I want to hear the fail. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a lot of like, um, I won't regale you with too much of the failures because we're happy with where we ended up. But, <laughs> you true. know, it has to go from, uh, I mean, there, we tried different wardrobe. We tried different makeup looks. There were we tried, many hats. We tried hats. The hats were not good. The hats, hats were some of the fails, okay. I will just tell you. It's like, yeah. do you think this would be more scary in a bowler hat? I don't think so. This is exactly where I went. I yeah. was like, bowler hat? <laughs> no. <laughs> Engineer cap? No. Yes. No, but the, desi the design <laughs> exercise is like you have to 
figure out what does he do, what's fundamental to him, what does he, you know, how does how does he affect you, how does he terrify you, and then work back from there. And you know, you're watching the movie, and I want you to constantly be looking for him because he's in the shadows a lot. Not everyone's going to see every moment that you see him. He's there. He's there. He's. I don't want to even give you hints, but there's a lot of places where he is. So the question is, how do you make him? provocative and you how do you make him evocative and how do you make him iconic all of those things are important for visually having him be far and small having him be close and right here mm -hmm. wow, that's that's awesome well i can't wait to see the movie and uh, <laughs> i said hi to bye bye man for you so. <laughs> thank you <laughs> You're so cool. thanks